a hot Texas day in February and we're gonna just try to get something done with the house today. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut some short studs to go on top of this wall. It'll be for a new wall. Uh, we'll put on top of this double top plate, uh, a stud for, for each of the studs that are here and then a double top plate on top of that. Instead of this, uh, that one truss that's back here that'll come off and this whole thing will just be a knee wall. So we have some scrap two by sixes that are left over from our studs. So you're gonna bring me those and Tempe can measure them. Tempe's gonna measure them out 15 inches and then I will cut them. So it's the wrong size and you find Tempe? Um, <laughs> Tempe or me. Why do they need to be 15 inches? Because I said so. Because that number's in your head? Yep. <laughs> okay, fine. Right, Connie? Having it made in the shade. Just like Angela and the kids the other day. Shoo. Is it hot today? No, it's nice in the shade. <laughs> in the shade, yeah. Yeah, so you can bring me the one that Tempe marked already. Go ahead and put it on the saw for me. Thank you. It goes on the vendor, right, Tempe? Okay, y'all can take the ones that are finished and put it on the stack. Thank you. Just sitting there eating your waffle. <laughs> so it's kind of nice not doing anything. Yeah, you talk all quiet. What? That's me, gentle nature. <laughs> you were the loudest person I know. Cool. Well, besides our kids. <laughs> Caleb is. Right, buddy? so much faster with all these helpers. What do you think? We're gonna go ahead and cut all the scrap for the other knee boards, knee, for the other knee walls that we need. <laughs> Last board. How many do we end up with? All right, good job. Good math. What a strong helper. We're tunneling these in for the knee wall, and then you're gonna put a double top plate on top. <laughs> Don't be in a bad mood. She's making me work. <laughs> it's nice weather. It was too hot earlier. Go along. Okay. You'll be glad tomorrow that this is done already.
I definitely want to see blue bonnets. Where are they? Uh, they were here. <gasps> oh, look. And then also right here. I'm so happy we have blue bonnets now. This one too. Oh, you're right. Maybe they'll just multiply then. I hope this doesn't get dug up when we do the septic. And then we get to keep our blue bonnets around the house. That'd be nice. So this, these were the original ones that I saw when we, before we even started. Mm. Or I guess it's when we, um, before we started framing. These were here before we started framing, so I'm glad those made it. I just saw some blue bonnet leaves. And that gets me excited because I love blue bonnets, which usually come late February, March, depending on the weather. And we only have them in one spot right now, which is a little patch on our driveway in front of our house. And so I guess they're in the dirt here around our new house already. So who knows, we might have them many more places, hopefully. My kids don't want to be on camera anymore. <laughs> anymore? I just watched a video when we started this process. You were in the tree smiling and waving. <laughs> you're, a year later, you're too grown up for a video. What, honey? Oh, there was a patch up here too, originally when we started. 